So Trump doesn't trust the FBI, and I don't blame him. After everything they've put him through for years, I mean, you had the Steele dossier paid for by Hillary Clinton, you know, PP tapes, right, that never materialized for some reason. Well, that reason being they never existed in the first place. A $20 million Mueller investigation based on nothing. Two impeachments. There's been an endless January 6th show trial going on. They're seemingly determined to criminally prosecute everybody he's ever known. Check this out from the Washington Post. This is uh, December 2018. New York's next attorney general targeted slumlords. Now she's going after Trump. Yeah, and of course they throw in some non sequitur about slumlords just to poison the well a little bit more. But this is 2018. Says, during the campaign, James, a Democrat, said she intends to aggressively investigate Trump's businesses and finances. On the night of her victory, she stood in front of supporters in Brooklyn and all but declared a war against Trump. I will be shining a bright light into every dark corner of his real estate dealings and every dealing, demanding truthfulness at every turn. Why? Well, because he's Trump. She had no reason to do this. She was just, she was promising to be corrupt. That's how she got elected. She was promising to persecute a citizen without cause, until she found something by uh, shining a light into every dark corner of his real estate dealings, every dealing. Yet she didn't have a crime to investigate. She just wanted to find a crime. And of course, that brings us to today. Here's a headline. Trump refused to answer questions in deposition for New York Attorney General Letitia James. Takes fifth in probe of business. I'll tell you what, if she were determined to destroy your life, you do the same. But anyway, so Trump is saying that the FBI could have planted evidence at the uh, Mar-a-Lago raid. And again, you can't really blame him for being suspicious. He said, quote, the FBI and others from the federal government would not let anyone, including my lawyers, be anywhere near the areas that were rummaged and otherwise looked at during the raid on Mar-a-Lago. And he posted this on uh, Truth Social on Wednesday morning. But, I mean, it does seem suspicious, doesn't it? Would not let anyone, including my lawyers, be anywhere near the areas that were rummaged and otherwise looked at. Now, you would assume in something this unprecedented that is guaranteed to cause suspicion and outrage that you would want to be as transparent as possible. And, of course, this was just the opposite. If they're just looking for some papers... Why wouldn't his lawyers be able to witness that? I mean, you would think they would want that just to avoid any suspicion of wrongdoing. It seems odd to me. Quote, everyone was asked to leave the premises. They wanted to be left alone without any witnesses to see what they were doing, taking, or hopefully not, planting, he added. Uh, Trump continued on to question, quote, why did they strongly insist on having nobody watching them, everybody out? Obama and Clinton were never raided, despite big disputes. Yes, Clinton with the missing 30,000 emails. Uh, The bleach pit and the hammers. Not raided. One could almost be forgiven for thinking that there's a double standard. But uh, the plot thickens a little bit. Uh, Here's from Newsweek. Eric Trump says security cameras captured FBI acting improperly during raid. Says Eric Trump said that the security cameras at Mar-a-Lago caught FBI agents behaving improperly during Monday's raid, alleging that investigators were accessing parts of former President Donald Trump's Florida residence that they shouldn't have been. In an interview with DailyMail.com, Eric Trump said that because staff refused to turn off the surveillance cameras at the request of the FBI, the Mar-a-Lago cameras captured agents raiding areas that they weren't supposed to. Quote, there were 30 agents there. They told our lawyer... You have to leave the property right now. Turn off all security cameras. Again, I mean, if you wanted transparency, if you wanted trust, you would not demand absolute secrecy. That just seems strange to me, especially in this case of all cases. And I'm not saying anything here. I'm just saying it looks really weird. So if they'd wanted to avoid these kinds of uh, accusations, they could have just made the process extremely transparent to the point of documenting with Trump's lawyers 
every bit of evidence that was removed. Now, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know if that'd been possible, but but just something that looks a little bit less like deep state persecution, say. Because after years of constant hounding of Trump, this isn't going to make any Trump supporters less cynical. Anyway, please subscribe, like, and share. Sharing really helps me out. I really notice when people share my content. Thank you for that. I will see you next time.